Hey everyone, it's Steven here, and let's talk some Book of Boba Fett, Episode 5, and the Lego sets I want to see made. So spoiler warning up front, if you haven't seen the episode, stop, go watch it, and then come right back here and join in on the Lego set speculation. So no rumors this time, this is just scenes that I think would make great Lego sets and that I would be excited for. If you want to help the channel and you enjoy content like this, I'll always appreciate a like and a subscribe. All right, let's get into it. All right, again, seriously, spoilers from here on out. Well, hello, Din Djarin. We've all missed you, Mando. So this was a Mando-centric episode, and it did a lot of setting up for things to come. However, as I was watching the episode, two possible Lego sets just jumped to my mind immediately, and they probably won't be hard for you to guess. First, the Mandalorian bridge duel. Din Djarin versus Paz Vizsla for ownership of the Darksaber. I loved this duel that happened towards the beginning of the episode. It had a raw and visceral feel to it. I think it's a great touch that they frequently show Mando using his armor and helmet almost as a weapon itself in these different battles, especially that first one from the very beginning of the episode. Also, I love that they didn't shy away from showing that neither Mando nor Paz Vizsla knew what they were doing when they were wielding the Darksaber, but I could very easily see them turning this whole sequence into a Lego set. They have a history of doing dual sets, like the most recent one, 75310, Duel on Mandalore, but there's also 75269, the Duel on Mustafar, 75169, the Duel on Naboo, and even that 18 plus moment set, 75294, the Bespin Duel. So if it was up to me, I'd probably have it with two minifigures, Din Djarin and Paz Vizsla. I probably wouldn't include the armorer. I feel that that would be retreading on the armorer's forge set a little too much. And for Paz Vizsla, I'd give him a dagger and his energy shield. And for Mando, I'd give him the dark saber and a dagger as well. Piece count for this, I'm thinking like 210 pieces. Using the other sets as a basis for this, their piece counts were the Mandalore was 147, Naboo was 208, Mustafar was 208, and Bespin was 295, but again, that was an 18 plus set, it was a display set, and I think this would be much more likely to be a play set like those other ones. Therefore, I think the piece count would be more in line with the Naboo and Mustafar sets that also have bridge and platform elements. Price, I'm thinking probably with all of that would be in the $25 to $30 range. I think $25 is probably more fitting. Also, RIP Beskar Spear, you will be missed. And then the second set I thought of would be Din Djarin's N1 Starfighter. As someone that never really liked the Naboo Starfighters, I won't lie, I'm kind of digging this. I love that they scraped the yellow paint off of it and that it has that shiny metallic appearance. It's a very clean look. Also, the way it mirrors Din Djarin's Beskar armor with its coloring is a nice touch as well. I also doubt that this will be his final ship or maybe his only ship as it really doesn't have a hold in which to transport his bounties. And as the episodes show, bounty hunting is what he knows and falls back on in times of need. I'm also tempted to say this would be the more likely set just because Lego loves to make all kinds of different ships for the Star Wars line. I'm thinking four minifigs. So Din Djarin again, Pelimoto, and then maybe two pit droids or a pit droid Nar 5. Piece count, probably 440, 450 pieces. This is, again, basing it off past sets, specifically set 75092, the Naboo Starfighter from 2015. There's an older and smaller piece count set, but I think the build would be more similar to this one. Also, I can't believe this set came with seven minifigures at the time. Props. However, given the engine mods Peli made, I could see the piece count being pretty comparable even without having those two droidicas in the set. Price, 40, 50 bucks. I think with inflation, they'd probably stretch it to 50 bucks unless the piece count came in lower. But if they stuck to around 450 pieces and did four minifigs, I think $50 would be pretty fair, really. So what does everybody else think? 
are those sets that would get you excited or those sets that you'd want as well? Did other ideas come to you while you were watching the episode? I want to hear all about it in the comments below. Thanks again for checking out my video, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I appreciate it. Let's talk some Book of Boba Set. Boba Set. Like Lego 7531. Like set 7575169, the dual on the book. I love that they scrapped the yellow paint.